Today we're gonna to be talking about maybe one of the most misunderstood strategies. It's very viable, but you need to know all the details so that you don't lose twice. Lead trainer with Stocks and Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We're doing podcasts, long form, short form. I'm actually going live 10 times a week right now. Now that might, when you see this video, I may have like scaled it back a little bit, but as of right now, we're going live a ton. And the best way to get notified right away is to ring that bell. That also, if you're looking to take your trading to the next level, check out the Steady Trade team. That's a part mentorship program where Mike Huddy, Kim Ann Curtin, and a growing team, we give you all the tools you need to speed up your path to being a consistently profitable trader. There's so much to learn, and the Steady Trade team, I think, is the best way to shortcut your path to success. That being said, let's talk about maybe... Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, one of the most misunderstood strategies out there, and we're talking about boxing a trade or shorting against the box, as they say. So I'm gonna explain the why, then the how, and then I'm gonna talk about the dangers of it, especially for newer traders. Because again, if you're watching these videos, I'm guessing you're new, maybe intermediate, maybe new to short selling, and boxing, shorting against the box is a short biased strategy, okay? So I want you to be very careful with these. Remember stocks, especially right now, we're recording in uh, summer of 2020, stocks can go up two, three, four, 500. We've seen thousand percent runners. You short too early, you can, I mean, in theory, have unlimited losses. At least if you go long a stock, you can only lose your whole, your whole position, which is bad, but owing your broker money is worse. So let's talk about why you would box a trade. So the theory is, or not necessarily the theory, the practice is you're looking to short a big low float stock that's making huge moves. Now, notice I said a low float stock. When these stocks have a small float, they're gonna be very hard to borrow, okay? Remember, to short a stock, you have to borrow it from your broker, you pay fees and interest for that, then you sell that borrowed stock and buy it back ideally for a profit. I'm not gonna get too much into short selling. We have a ton of other videos, check those out. We talk about it on the podcast all the time. Check out all the, the, the archive. There's a ton of how to short sell, what to short sell, etc. But back to that hard to borrow idea. So this stock's up huge on the day, on dubious news, the chart's a mess. You know, the company is super sketchy. It's known for doing financing. So you've gone through your list, like we use in the steady trade team, and you've determined, wow, this thing is a quote unquote perfect short setup. But it's early in the day, you're looking at your broker and, and the shares to borrow are rapidly disappearing. Maybe this morning at 7 a.m. there was 5 million shares to short. Now it's 8 a.m. and there's 3 million and now you're getting into the market open and there's a million shares or maybe even less. So you know that that supply of shares to borrow is rapidly disappearing. So what you do is you know this stock isn't done going up yet, okay? You don't wanna short when the stock's ripping higher. But at the same time, you see the shares disappearing and you know when that crack comes, if you don't have the borrow, you can't trade the stock. You know, it's, it's, one of these, it's one of the most frustrating things about being a short bias trader is you can find this perfect setup go to your broker, maybe multiple brokers. A lot of short sellers have five, six brokerage accounts to get the borrows and nobody has them. And you see this thing drop 50% and you just watch it, you're hosed, you can't get in. So the idea behind boxing is you short the stock early, okay? You're gonna say, well, Tim, you say never be early on a short. You wanna be late. You wanna, you wanna short after the crack, not while it's going up. But remember that idea of that dwindling supply of shares to short you know they're gonna be gone before the crack comes. So you enter the stock when it's still going up. As protection, you box that trade. So that's where you go to another brokerage account. So you short at broker A, say a thousand shares at a dollar, then you buy a thousand shares at a dollar at another broker. So now you're net zero, okay? You've locked in your thousand shares, you borrowed them, they're yours, 
as long as your broker doesn't, you know, buy force buy you in, which is another thing we talk about a lot. Check out the videos. But let's say in this situation, you're not getting a forced buy in. You're now net zero. So even if the stock goes from one to 100, you're long in another account. So you're basically zeroing out as that stock runs higher, 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 higher. That's your protection. I mean, you basically can't blow up because as the stock goes higher, you're, make, you're losing money in this account, unrealized, but you're making money unrealized in this account. So it just stays even. Now, let's say this trade works out great and it runs from one to five. We get into the afternoon, stock starts fading, 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 which the afternoon is the best time to short, but lots of times you know you won't, get the, you won't have the shares to borrow. So now it's fading in the afternoon, say it breaks below VWAP or, or one of these levels, key levels we look for, you now have that top to risk your short position off of. Let's say five, it went from one to five. Now it's back to 450, fading, fading, fading. So now you sell your long position, you make 350 a share, now you're still way upside down on that short, but then, as that stock pulls back, pulls back, pulls back, pulls back, then they do an offering after hours. Who knows what sketchy business they do? It drops to 50, 50 cents. Okay, again, I'm just using this as an example of like a perfect uh, box trade. Now, you made money on the, on the upside with that long as your protection. You sold into the, into the fading action, green on that trade. Then you get the sketchy offering, stock gaps down the next day, you cover into the washout, and life is good. Now, that's how you execute a good box trade. Now I want to talk about the dangers of this. What happens is, what I see, number one, even though you've got that protection, if you short too early and you go for that ride from one to five in this situation, your broker's probably gonna buy you in. They're probably gonna force you out of this trade. You're probably gonna have a margin call. Now, if you have a million dollar account, you'll be fine. But that's one of the biggest things that kind of frustrates me sometimes about a lot of these Twitter traders. You know, they're shorting these stocks, they're boxing these stocks, and you don't necessarily know that they got a million dollar, two million, five million dollar account. They can do things you can't. If they're down 50,000 shares on this short, or $50,000 on this short, they've got a big enough account that their broker's not gonna force them in. If you're down four or $5 a share with a $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 account, they're gonna force you in, okay? They're gonna kick you out of that trade with a margin call. So that's one of the biggest uh, dangers of shorting these, of, of trying a box trade with a small account. The other thing I see is people just screw it up. I mean, no offense, I'm glad you're here to learn, I'm glad you're here to pick up tips, but it's when you're trading these volatile stocks, like like a code, look up Kodak in summer of 2020, okay? It went from like two to 60, back down to eight in, in the last two weeks, okay? These stocks move fast, and as a newer trader, you've now got multiple positions at multiple brokers, and you're trying to manage this stuff in a stock that's going all over the place. And when you get stressed, when you get under pressure, you tend to make mistakes, okay? I don't care if you're an athlete, I don't care if you're a pilot, I don't care what you do, anytime you're stressed, you tend to make mistakes. And I see that a lot with new, newer traders with these multiple positions, and they lose on both sides of the box. That's simple fact. They get squeezed out on one side, then they overhold on the long side. This stock I talked about does the offering, it gaps down, now you just took a loser twice. So hopefully this video was uh, useful to explain how to box, why you should want to box, but I'm just really, really, really gonna caution you that this is, in my opinion, a big account strategy, okay? A veteran strategy. Now, doesn't mean you can't get there someday, but the thing is, you need multiple accounts, you need enough capital in your account, especially on the short side, not to get margined out, and you gotta have the experience and the, you know, and the, and the, uh, you know, the intestinal fortitude, as they say in wrestling, 
to manage multiple positions. So please be really careful with it. And if anything, one of the great things about stocks to trade is you can paper trade. So if you wanna test a box trade, you can actually add multiple paper trading brokers in stocks to trade, check out the trial, and you can experiment with it. Because I tell you, the last thing I want you doing is trying one of these strategies for the first time with real money. Check out the trial, check out Stocks to Trade. You can use those multiple accounts and you can see if boxing works for you. Now, if you make half a dozen paper trades and it's working, then you risk your real money. All right, everyone, hopefully this was useful. It's an interesting question I get asked a lot about. People see these traders making these big wins and they say they're boxed for protection and you wonder what that means. Have a great day. Check out the Steady Trade team. Would love to work with you in twice daily webinars every single trading day. 